Hey YouTube and guitar geeks, Michael Paul here. Today I'm unboxing and giving you my first reactions of a Strandberg Bowden Fusion Neck Through 2020. I can't wait to do it. Um, and uh, let's get into it. So this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm totally ready. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right, a few more shots. Okay, we're gonna get to it into a second. Crazy, that's crazy. All right, let's take a look at the case. Uh, the case I really like. It's uh, not too big. It's, it's surprisingly small. I mean, the guitar is small, but the case, uh, it almost looks smaller in the case. I don't know what that means, but it kind of does. It feels like that. Um, really nice padding, if you can see in here. Very nice, cushy padding. Um, an area here to uh, make sure that none of the uh, pickups and bridge um, are, are rubbing against the uh, nice material inside. Let's see what comes in here. So by the way, first off, this is a manila envelope, right? Um, probably about the size of a MacBook, 13 inch or so. Um, so that fit in there, that's cool. Whammy bar, tools. Uh, ah, first in, in instructions on how to attach the uh, arm. I don't know if you can see that with the light. How to attach the tremolo arm. That's helpful. A little plug for Daddario strings. I love Daddario strings, actually. I've used their 110s for, I can't even tell you how long, as long as I've been playing guitar. I went to 9s, but I break 9s, so. That's what I do it. Yeah, there's a nice, there's, uh, some nice compartments in here. At least five right up here, and then the whole, the whole uh, open space, and then in here, um, there's a nice little mesh. I don't know if you can see some of the stuff in there. <laughs> see how professional this video is? Uh, not, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good amount of stuff fits in there. Now let's get to the guitar. All right, so let's get to the guitar. The guitar is gorgeous. Um, hopefully you can see the flame. I might have a little bit too much light there. Hopefully you can see the flame. Um, the first thing, again, this is, this is the second time I've ever held one of these. Um, the first thing is the weight. It's really comfortable. Um, 
and compared to like my Les Paul, it is just, this is amazing. Um, the neck, the neck of obviously the Endura neck is something that it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but my understanding is that it's fairly straightforward. It felt pretty good when I picked it up for the first time. It feels really good now. Um, this cutaway, by the way, on the neck through is just so good. Oh, sorry about that glare. It's so good. Um, it really feels nice. And as you can see, the neck through is beautiful. The other thing I really like, I like the top. I don't know if you know, people talk about that aesthetic, but I really like this, um, just kind of the curvature of this, but maybe the best part about this is the backside where this really, this heel helps kind of keep your hand on the fretboard. Um, the last headless guitars I ever played were the Steinbergers. Um, and some MIDI guitars, and you, your hand just feels like it wants to fly off. This really is nice. It's perfect, and I really, I love the way the fretboard continues on to the, um, all the way through to this little, little head, headstock. Um, it's really cool. Now, here's the thing. The resonance is amazing. I don't know if the mic can pick that up. It's, it's got a really nice sound. I'm really looking forward to playing this. All right. Well, thanks for watching today. Um, I'm really, I was really excited to bring this to you guys. Um, next video is going to be me playing it. I'm excited about the HH, HSX circuit and splitting the coils and seeing how that sounds and how um, it works within this system. Um, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and tune in for the next video where I'll be playing this guy and putting it through its paces. Ciao for now.